Hi, good morning to everyone, to all our empowered consumers in the Philippines, and of course, all our distributors all over the world. Welcome to our Easy Talks. This is your Vice President for Business Development, and uh, we are now on the third week of our local quarantine here in the Philippines. And uh, again, uh, dapat makapag-develop tayo ng mga new habits during this lockdown period so that we can be able to adapt to this kind of condition because uh, the truth is um, dapat meron kang skills regardless kung ano man yung conditions na meron tayo particularly everyone is now in their home, in their house because of this quarantine. So let me just begin with my topic today about skills or developing new skills because as again, the, the, the great mentor, the great trainer, Jim Ron said, don't wish for less problems, but uh, let's wish for more skills. Um, another thing he said is that uh, money don't buy you a future, but your skills buy you a future. So, importante na makadevelop tayo ng mga new habits, new skills sa mga panahon na to. And I'd like to highlight because um, lahat tayo nakakonfine sa ating mga tahanan. I'd like to uh, talk about a bit uh, regarding online or online marketing because ito yung panibagong skills na dapat ma-develop ng mga hindi pa marunong mag-online. So basically, uh, we just need to adapt kung ano yung mga skills natin sa field, sa offline, and be able to adjust dun sa online marketing. So, of course, it's very important that uh, uh, sa panahon na to, kahit na tayo ay nasa bahay lang, number one skills dapat we keep on getting customers, we keep on getting clients, we keep on making sales because of course, nasa sales tayo. And uh, lahat naman ngayon halos may internet, lahat naman ngayon halos uh, meron ng access sa internet. So, uh, it's not an excuse for us to just uh, be idle, walang ginagawa. In fact, uh, dahil nga ngayon ng mga tao nasa bahay lang, mas marami kayong chance para kausapin yung mga prospects ninyo mga customers ninyo. Hindi dahil sa sinasamantala natin itong pagkakataon where a lot of people are worried about this COVID. Pero because of our products, uh, you can actually make a sale or you can actually sell them our products for their immune system. Another thing is that aside from getting customers, it's also an opportunity for us to look for possible prospects or ito yung tinatawag natin panahon para makapag-present, makapanahon para makapag-empower ng iba pang mga uh, kababayan natin because maraming tao uh, hindi regular ang kanilang sweldo sa mga oras na to because uh, they are forced to take a leave or of course understandable naman that talagang businesses cannot uh, regular do their business so opportunity to offer our business our company our uh, opportunity to a lot of people na naghahanap ng home-based business so again uh, skills such as uh, uh, looking for customers, making a sale, uh, recruiting and empowering, and being able to present the business online. So, dapat matutunan nyo yan kung paano pwede mag-present ng business through online. Napakadaming platform na pwede nyo gamitin. Usong-uso naman ngayon, alam naman natin yung social media like Facebook. Nagagamit natin yan for presentation and of course to get in touch with our possible prospects. Uh, may mga gumagamit ng Zoom for uh, conference para maraming audience. No? Kung hindi nyo pa alam yan, dapat matutunan nyo paano gamitin yung Zoom. Meron ding FaceTime, meron ding FB group chat, and there are a lot of things or uh, new technology that can actually use para uh, ma-maximize natin itong uh, uh, panahon na to. Because again, it's no excuse, it's not an excuse na nasa bahay lang tayo at wala tayong nagagawa. Actually, sa mga panahon na to, maraming may sakit no? because of the effect of the virus. But a lot of people are confined in their house and they are suffering from what we call excusitis. Ano yung excusitis? Maraming excuses. Yan yung mga kasamahan or yung mga kaibigan natin na you know, nasa bahay, walang magawa, walang prospect, hindi ako makabenta, sarado ang branches, sarado ang office, <clears throat> sarado ang head office natin. But... You have to remember, we created a platform before this happened. No? The company has come up with uh, an uh, online shopping. Ito yung tinatawag nating easy online shopping platform. So, ginawa ng company to para ma-maximize ng mga empowered consumers all over the Philippines. 
yung pagkakataon na magkaroon kayo ng online uh, marketing, online shopping for your prospects. So, hindi dahil sarado yung office natin or branches natin, BCOs natin, hindi na kayo makakabili ng mga produkto. Maximize and be able to use our easy online shopping platform. Kung hindi kayo marunong, uh, the last few days, nag-training si uh, Jason Lino about how to maximize, how to use your easy online platform. And uh, we're going on to the uh, second stage of the development para marami pa tayong payment process na pwedeng tanggapin sa mga gagamit ng easy online platform natin. So, again, um, you have to maximize this. No? Uh, yung easy online shopping platform natin is uh, bibili kayo through online sa ating uh, DTC, sa ating website. And then within 3 to 5 days after payment, after placing your order within Metro Manila, makukuha nyo na yung mga orders ninyong produkto. If you're outside Metro Manila, pwede pa rin kayong gumamit ng easy online platform by uh, purchasing products and then later on, after the quarantine is lifted, you can actually pick up or claim those products either sa head office or nearest branches uh, in your area. So again, uh, maraming pagkakataon, maraming chance na magamit ninyo uh, itong DC online platform natin. But going back to my topic, it's very important na meron kang skills na ma-apply sa platform na ito. Uh, that's why I was telling earlier, aside from, of course, uh, being able to present the business online sa mga prospects ninyo. Kasi marami mga prospects nasa bahay ngayon. No? Uh, naghahanap din sila ng sideline, naghahanap ng additional income na gusto nila home-based kasi nga hindi tayo makalabas. So, you should know how to present our business very quickly. Hindi pwedeng mahaba yung presentation ninyo. In 10 minutes or even less, you should be able to present our business to your prospects. So, those are the skills na kailangan mong matutunan. And of course, alam naman natin na pagka nakapagbigay na tayo ng presentation, you should also be making follow-up sa mga prospects na to. Basically, ang ibig sabihin naman ng follow-up is getting in touch with them and, uh, you know, touching base with them, with your prospects, with your customers, uh, para ho, hindi mawala yung uh, excitement nila. It's either about our products or about our marketing plan or opportunity. Follow-up also, opportunity and to answer their questions, of course, opportunity yan para uh, matanggal yung mga fear, matanggal yung mga doubt nila. And uh, isa yan sa mga bububuhay ng network, yung consistent na pagpa-follow up. Again, I'm pertaining dito sa online na ginagawa natin. Uh, you can actually do these things online, kaya uh, dapat well-versed kayo, or hindi man well-versed, at least uh, alam niyo yung mga basic pagdating sa online marketing or paggamit ng technology para ma-maximize ninyo yung business natin. So, of course, aside from uh, follow-up, another skills is uh, the ability to organize your group nowadays. No? Uh, ayan, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na dapat marunong kayong gumamit ng iba't ibang technology. You can actually use webinars, yan yung Zoom, yan yung uh, three-way calls or social media platforms. It's very, very important. Uh, organize means, you know, mag-meeting kayo, get in touch with your group, sabay-sabay kayong mag-online, and uh, I hope dun sa mga kasama natin, meron kayong mga kahit papano, uh, magandang connection because, uh, of course, uh, isa yan sa mga challenges ng mga nag online yung kanilang uh, limitation pagdating sa internet connection. Yan. But uh, again, uh, hanap lang tayo ng paraan, gumawa lang tayo ng paraan because sa uh, uh, ito na yung uh, chance natin, again, para matuto kung paano ginagawa itong pag-organize ng group pagdating sa online. In fact, uh, I commend all those leaders. Minsan, tinatag pa ako sa Facebook. No? Uh, pinapakita sa akin na meron silang meeting, uh, pag, uh, meron silang meeting sa Zoom, meron silang meeting sa Facebook and everything. And we're happy to see that the management is very happy that you're taking the initiative to do this to your group. And uh, yan yung mga lumalaki sa industriya ito, yung may mga initiative, yung may leadership, yung hindi na kailangan i-supervise but they are consistently doing their business. So, again, another skills that you have to really learn about this, uh, you know, during this condition is being able to organize your group online. No? Mag-meeting kayo, uh, mag-update kayo, probably one of the things you can do is assign certain topic or certain topics to your leaders and pwede silang mag-discuss online sa grupo. So, para hindi lang ikaw yung merong 
mape-pitch uh, in, hindi lang ikaw yung merong may contribute you can probably assign some of your leaders sa iba't ibang topic and they can you can discuss it online. Hindi naman kailangang oras ang pag-meeting na ito. No? Uh, some of the people na na-encounter mga leaders kinukwento sa akin in less than an hour tapos na yung meeting nila. But an important thing is, you are able to organize your group no? kahit na ganito yung condition kahit na naka-lockdown tayo. And the side course from organizing is uh, communicating. Communicating means uh, your ability, your yung how you affect people with your words. No? The, the ability to communicate effectively. So, paano mo magagamit yung uh, salita mo, yung uh, gestures mo, galaw mo, actions mo to be able to inspire a lot of people. Because as leaders, isang sa skills na meron ka dapat yung ability to inspire. Lalo na ngayon, no? dahil maraming mga tao uh, bored na sa bahay, they are getting depressed. So, ikaw dapat marunong kang mag-inspire ng team mo, marunong kang mag-inspire ng mga uh, empowered consumers community mo. Kasi ito yung uh, chance, ito yung panahon na lahat tayo nasa bahay lang. Uh, hindi tayo nakakita ng ibang tao aside from our families or probably our neighbors. But again, opportunity to, to uh, be able to communicate effectively to your group and uh, you inspire them. Siguro minsan may meeting kayo na tawanan lang, update lang, and do it with fun. Hindi naman kailangan na laging seryoso pagdating sa uh, meeting ninyo or uh, uh, pag-organize ng group. Uh, make it fun. Enjoy the process because uh, ito yung uh, panahon na kailangan natin ng isa't isa to be positive and uh, we are looking forward na matapos na ito para magkita-kita na tayo physically. Uh, although, of course, virtually, uh, hindi naman tayo limited lang no? uh, ng uh, physical or field marketing or offline marketing by dahil meron ngayong uh, katulad nito, virtual, uh, pwede pa rin kayo uh, makipag-in-touch uh, or pwede pa rin kayo makipag-communicate sa mga leaders. Eh. Take this chance as well para makapag-train, makapagturo kayo ng mga uh, empowered consumers ninyo, makapag-train uh, kayo ng mga downlines ninyo. Take this chance, ladies and gentlemen, para uh, turuan nyo rin no? yung mga downlines ninyo kung paano gagawin nyo uh, online marketing natin. And one of the most important things that uh, you must be able to uh, enhance in terms of your skills is uh, the time management skills. Uh, important yan kasi pag nasa bahay, ang daming panahon para manood ng TV, ang daming panahon para matulog, ang daming panahon para magaksaya ng oras. Uh, wala naman masama dito but again, we cannot be unproductive. Uh, pwede pa rin naman kayo matulog, pwede pa rin kayo manood ng Netflix, pwede pa rin naman kayo manood ng TV. But make sure to manage your time well. Like, pagising mo sa umaga, what's the first thing you need to do? Either you follow up your your group, your team, your community. Uh, set a time uh, on a particular day, on a given day, mag-set ka ng time pa paano mo or anong oras mo gagawin. Yung business mo, is it before lunch or after lunch? Anong oras ka makikipag-meeting sa mga downlines mo? Anong oras ka... Uh, mag-follow up sa mga prospects mo, sa mga customers mo. So, make sure na organize din yung day mo. No? One thing about this uh, lockdown is that uh, we tend to waste a lot of time kasi nasa bahay lang. But uh, when you waste your time, you never become productive. And of course, pag hindi ka productive, it affects your income. So, it is important that you manage your time well from the moment that you wake up in the morning and up to the time na magpapahinga ka na sa gabi. So, Ayusin yung mabuti yan. No? Uh, Pag-isip mo sa umaga, ano yung gagawin mo, sino yung kakausapin mo, anong oras ka kakain, anong oras ka magbe-webinar, mag-zoom sa downlines mo dito sa Philippines, or anong oras ka makikipag-usap sa leaders mo abroad, sa international market mo, anong oras ka magbe-meditate and pray, anong oras ka manonood ng TV, ng news, anong oras ka magbabasa ng libro. So, take note, this is a very, very... Uh, good opportunity for you to learn. No? Ang daming mababasa sa, i, uh, sa, sa internet, ang daming mababasa na books, ang daming mapapanood na videos sa YouTube. So, take this chance to also learn. No? Ang importante, uh, marunong kayong mag-manage ng time nyo except sa mga skills na dapat na ma-maximize ngayong mga panahon na to. So, actually, those are the basic skills that you need to uh, enhance uh, nowadays, especially applying this skills to, to online to your group because again we are just confined in our house in our home 
and uh, our ability to adapt and our ability to be resilient in times like this will ultimately dictate the outcome of our income in the next coming days. No? So, make sure to develop new habits. No? Make sure that you're a better leader when things go back to normal. Make sure that your group is intact pagdating ng uh, uh, normal operations natin. And don't forget to maximize our easy online shopping platform. No? Uh, hindi dahilan yung katulad ng sinabi ko kanina na dahil hindi tayo bukas, walang operations, hindi dahilan na wala ka ng production. No? You can actually maximize this. So again, this is your uh, Vice President for Business Development and uh, abangan nyo pa yung mga easy talks na gagawin ng mga Vice Presidents together with the training team. So stay safe. God bless everyone. More power to you.